electric vehicles are better for the carbon environment for CO2 emissions. Over the past few months, I've done several segments on electric vehicles, their pros and cons and carbon footprint. But it's not all just Teslas. We headed down to Yankee Ford in South Portland for a look at one of the newest EVs, the Ford Mustang Mach-E. It's go time, it's go time. All I see is green. Can I help you, sir? All right, one thing off the bat that's different about an EV is um, there's no engine in the front. There's no engine in the front. So what we have here is what we call a front trunk, a water resistant with a drain plug that you can use as a cooler. And uh, as you see, Ford has two cup holders right there that you can use. Tailgating potential here. Tailgating potential. Or front right. gating potential, or I guess. Front <laughs> I like that. I like that answer right there. All right, uh, let's, let's start her up. Well, it's already running. In your normal car, you have a lot of uh, uh, different uh, gadgets going on. In an EV vehicle, everything is going to be in this uh, 15 and a half inch uh, screen. Everything's located right there. Our charging port is located right here, and uh, you'll get two types of charging. You'll get the regular charge, and then you'll get a direct charge, where direct charge, you can charge your vehicle uh, up to 80% in uh in about an hour uh, the uh, regular the uh, regular charge you'll get that one uh up to about 100 percent in about two hours right so those are the two types of charging systems that you can use obviously you got your home charger which is 110 you'll get it in about 95 hours if you got that long <laughs> time, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> 240 volt is going to cut that down in half about 14 and if we sell a 48 amp charger that gets in at about 10. all right let's take it for a ride so one thing about electric vehicles too is there's something called one pedal driving as soon as i take my foot off the accelerator i stop so you can drive around and you don't need the brake you just go and you stop because electric vehicles deliver power directly to the axle, there's no spin-off. They're pretty quick. 